with breaking news and political commentary from a public servant, serial entrepreneur, community leader, philanthropist, and American patriot, and a darn nice guy. It's time for the Grassroots Truthcast and your host, Gene Valentino. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Gene Valentino's Grassroots Truthcast. You know, we uh, try to reach out every week and uh, get uh, individuals, businesses, concerns, enterprises from different walks of life to come in and share some Americana, share their mission, their life experience. We've had people from all sorts uh, of walks of life. The gentleman with me today is Andrew Crapuche. He is with Red Balloon dot work. Uh, welcome and thank you for joining us, Andrew. Thanks for having me, Gene. It's nice to be here and hello, everyone. You know, folks, this is something I really came to, you know, Andrew's got an employment agency, for lack of a better word. And I don't and I think that's disparaging just to say it that way. <laughs> he has he has done something in the corporate woke work culture that I think you'll appreciate. He's well, how can I say it? There's a growing movement in the American workplace right now, one that's not dominated by a, a political party or an ideology, but a real Americans who oppose these divisive rules and the cancel culture mandates that many of you are victimized by in the workplace. Uh, it's invaded many of the Americans' largest companies and it's now showing itself. And Andrew has come to me at a very timely point in our culture with this woke culture trying to take hold primarily in the school systems, but pervasively throughout. And his concept is a movement of hometown America, people who want to build their careers, raise their families, and live their faith in the spirit and a legacy of what we used to call the American dream. Andrew, welcome aboard. Share with me what I introduced you by. Any truth to anything I just said? <laughs> yes, absolutely. You know, redballoon.work is, we are America's pro-freedom job board. Um, you can call it a non-woke job board. I like to, I prefer pro-freedom job board. It's what made America great in the first place. Meritocracy, hard work, free speech, the ability to show up, bring value to your employer, support your family, and do what all of us thought was normal in America until just a few years ago. And RedBalloon.Work is only a couple of years old now. The reason that I started this business, and I've been blessed to start quite a few businesses over the years, is I have my own cancel culture story where I was running a fairly large business that I'd helped start and built it up to a $50 million tech business. And lo and behold, and I'd sold most of my ownership. So I wasn't in a position of control anymore, which is another story altogether. But my board decided that I was a little too conservative and Christian for their liking. I didn't have the right social media profile. I wouldn't say things about BLM or COVID or George Floyd that they wanted me to say. And lo and behold, I found myself unemployed. And I thought, well, if this happened to me, a CEO of a company that's growing 25% with a 40% margin, it's going to happen to a lot of Ameri other Americans who are going to have to decide between their job and their values. And I don't need you to agree with me on all of my values, but I do um, want you to allow me to have my values. And I think that's what is under attack in America today in a lot of this woke culture. And so that's why we started redballoon.work. And it's called Red Balloon because if you've ever been on a hot air balloon, it's a little bit terrifying. It's really fun. It's kind of this floating sensation. It's very quiet and it feels a lot like looking for a new job. And so people are using, and it's also a kind of this metaphor for travel. People are traveling to red states, to red regions of blue states, and to red businesses where they can be free. The, Gene, the reason that I wanted to focus on jobs, because there's a lot of things that you know are broken and you mentioned schools, other things. A job is such an important defining feature of an individual. When you meet someone new, you might ask them, you know, what do you do? And what you're asking them is what their job is. But the question betrays that a job is more than just a nine to five hobby is a defining okay. it's your vocation, right? And so if we can allow people to be free at work, if they can find a job where they're not going to have a woke worldview pushed down their throat every day, then my theory is they're going to be free in other areas of their life. And that's been playing out because I get unsolicited thank you notes from perfect strangers saying, you changed the trajectory of my family or you saved my marriage because of my of the new job that Red Balloon helped me get. So Andrew, that's, Andrew, that's what we're doing. 
two questions. Do you find your footprint of your business? First of all, you're in Moscow, Idaho, right? Yes, sir. Okay. But where's your footprint? Is it nationwide? Do you find yourself gravitating more towards blue states versus red states? What kind of company is looking for Red Balloon? Yeah, that's a great question. When I started Red Balloon, I was just going to be an Idaho job board. I just wanted to kind of, this was going to be a hobby job for me as a side note. I'm doing a housing development. I have a bunch of other things going, but I started getting notes from people all over the country saying, hey, when's Red Balloon coming to my state or my region? Because we need freedom too. And so it was clear to me very quickly that we needed to be in a position to serve a nationwide audience. We have two of our top states for job seekers are California and New York. I think people are looking to either move or relocate or find a remote job. And two of our top states for businesses are Florida and Texas. And I think Arizona is a, a close, close follower on that. So we really are seeing businesses from all walks of life and job seekers from all walks of life, because these are just people, the, cent the central and unifying principle in all of it is freedom. People who just believe that what made America great in the first place, we should get back to. And so tech companies and construction companies and HVAC companies and media companies, we do all the hiring for Loud Earth Crowder, for instance. Oh. Um, we work with Vivek Ramaswamy's Strive Financial. We work with Robert Kennedy Jr.'s Children's Health Defense. Um, so all the usual suspects you, do, you uh, anticipate in this world, we're helping them find the type of talent that they need that's going to build their culture and not wreck it. Well, just by those two names, you're certainly crossing interesting political lines. So they, That's right. it, it, which really uh, drives to an ultimate point. Well, we may have created some boundaries in the political world, the cultural tones and the moods, which perva are pervasive in the workplace, either by the employer mandates or by the employees. I'd like to come back to that. But I mean, we're recording this show on November 30th, and tonight's the night th that there is to be a, a debate between Governor, Florida Governor DeSantis and California Governor Newsom. And so who's your customer? Do you find more customers from Florida or do you find more customers from California? Yeah, uh, I, it's funny. Uh, I would say I don't know that there's a clear winner between those two because there are a lot of people in California that still want freedom. Um, obviously, we have a lot of con concentration in places like Orange County, where you still have a lot of uh, conservative bastion um, holding up there. Um, but, you know, we're in a weird time in America where we have this weird bifurcation. And in fact, we kind of have this tale of two economies going on right now because you have the red states, which and it's funny because what used to be we would debate which uh, political philosophy will drive economic prosperity the best. Well, now we have a scorecard. It's very clear. California and New York are having trouble paying their bills. People are exiting those states because of taxes and regulation, and they're going to places like Florida. So Florida is booming. We obviously have a lot of customers there. Um, but this weird tale of two economies is fascinating to me because we now have a very clear scorecard on which policies, which, which political policies will drive the best economic response. And it is very clear that the Republican and the conservative policies are winning. It's interesting to me, Andrew, that you can see that there's been a cultural shift by the employers throughout the nation in backing off on some of the overreach I see they had imposed. It started just three years ago when we had this lockdown on the vaccines and the masks and the... Yeah and everything during COVID-19, but it continued with a tone by the employer, and in some cases, the employees, where they were pushing forward a momentum of public social political opinion that arguably interfered in the workplace with one's ability to feel free about the liberties and freedoms and the aspirations of hard work in the workplace. Have you seen a disconnect or a resurgence of motivation with people like yourself telling employers, hey, I'm here. Let me bring you a passionate employee that wants that's loyal to the to the to the um, principles of America, but at the same time is going to give you a good eight hour workday. 
Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I was talking about the the scorecard effectively that we have with states. Well, you're seeing that with businesses as well. I talked to some former employees of Silicon Valley Bank and just asked them, like, what was it like working there before the whole thing collapsed? And they said, look, we had weekly microaggression training, which had nothing to do with protecting people's money, to getting a return on investment to our investors, to making sure we had a stable bank. It was a, a a woke political leftist ideology that they were pushing on a weekly basis. And, and one of the guys said, you know, the problem is we saw the credit risk coming, but we knew that if we mentioned this to anybody in the credit department, um, it would be considered a microaggression. And we were not allowed to give that kind of input to other employees in the company. Well, think about that for a minute. If you have a business where your main focus is not on your business, but on a pushing a political agenda that curtails innovation and communication between your employees, of course, you're going to fail, right? And then you start to see people like most diaper companies, major diaper companies in America support Planned Parenthood. Well, no matter where you stand politically, supporting an organization that is making it so that you have fewer customers doesn't make any sense at all. And so, and, and you see this with Disney, you've seen this with all these places that are using their political ideology to trump their business sense. And so I think we're going to see some clear winners and losers on this front as well. And most conservative businesses, look, they're, they're not trying to be out and pushing their agenda. They're, they're simply just trying to do their business, which means we're not going to talk about them in the media, but they're going to win in the long term because they're prioritizing having fiscal responsibility, blessing their customers, retaining employees, the things that make a business successful. So I think this is going to be an interesting moment when all these things come out in the wash and a lot of these woke businesses are going to struggle to make ends meet. And the conservative businesses don't have to push their worldview. They're just going to live it out. Folks, www.redballoon.work, W-O-R-K. You know, Andrew, one of the most tangible factors that I found on your website is for employers who don't require the COVID injection or That's injections. Right. How widespread are people looking for a job without that requirement? How important of a factor is anyone coming to you and saying, hey, I don't want you asking me about the COVID injection, but I want to work for you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that that was one of the big driving factors for Red Balloon early on. We said, look, we every employer signs a pledge that they think the Constitution still matters and that they will protect the freedom of their current and future employees up to and including uh, medical privacy. And and so that was one of the big driving factors for freedom for our employers. And I mean, Gene's pretty straightforward. We're a two year old company that's had over one point five million job seekers on our site looking for freedom. So the demand for freedom is definitely there. Um, a lot of our businesses were able to fill their positions in a hot minute, even in a tight labor market, because they were willing to stand for the freedom of their employees. And so that's obviously one of the factors when it comes to this political agenda in the workplace. But it has been a really big one. And there's a lot of employees that don't want to be compromised on that front. Are you afraid of running afoul with any of the equal employment labor laws saying, hey, what are you doing poking in this direction? Why don't you just stay in your own lane? What are you doing asking this of the employer or prompting the employee, prospective employee? I mean, it, yeah. it, it, are you getting any pushback because of your influence in uh, trying to curtail that uh, employer's involvement in one's personal vaccination status? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a concern. It's something we're going to have top of mind all the time. We do have a labor lawyer on staff. So when we're helping our employers hire, and we are doing this kind of and somewhat of a side note, you're not wrong that this is a huge risk because hiring in America today is a terrifying prospect and very litigious for many small businesses. You think about it, if they go into an interview process as a small business, if they ask the wrong questions during the interview, they might get a lawsuit because there's a lot of regulation around what you're allowed to ask in an interview. Uh, but if they don't ask those questions, they might get a bad culture fit and then they are going to get a lot of heartache. And we all know the cost of a bad hire and then they're going to get a lawsuit, right? Well, and many so of these, yeah, many of the nonprofits are actually enjoying the role of trying to suggest you're involved in some sort of employment discrimination. 
Right, right. And so so a lot of these small businesses are terrified. So we have the advantage of because we do hiring for hundreds of employers every single month, we're in a position with our labor lawyer on staff that we have a very dialed in process that we are reviewing the EEOC regulations all the time. But there's a lot that you can do that most of small conservative businesses don't have the time and energy to look into. There's a lot that you can do very legally to be able to understand where an employee or prospective employee is coming from. And so that's where we've actually found while we continue to have a thriving job board where people can post jobs, they can use a resume database. We have a lot of employers coming to us and saying, hey, can you just help with the hiring process? So we actually take over that hiring process. We'll help write a job posting. We'll do a comp review. And then we'll do a first cultural interview for you so that you know that by the time you actually talk to a prospective employee, they are a culture fit and a skill fit. And you don't have to worry about some of the things that you've been worried about in the past. Well, this has been a huge blessing to a lot of these businesses that we take some of that legal risk off them. We take some of that work off them and we bring them people that are values aligned so that they can build their culture. And they don't have to worry about that bad hire that we all know can cost you tens of thousands of dollars. There's a power in the spirit, in the American spirit that I think you've captured. I've mentioned it on other podcasts. There's a power in the spirit of the American culture that I think most socialists, Marxists, naysayers, people on those uh, other extremes that have been trying to take down and destroy America for centuries have uh, failed because there's a power in the spirit of this America fiber that I think you've latched on to. Give us your, how do we reach you? Yeah, so you can go to redballoon.work. And just so you know, it is .work, not .com, because I thought com sounded too much like communists. And we don't want communism. We want we want work. And work is good for your soul. And and we're doing a lot of different projects right now. So in addition to obviously helping people hire, helping people find jobs, one of the things we're doing is we're working with Public Square, publicsq.com, huge marketplace of pro-freedom businesses. And we do a joint survey of all of their customers and our customers every month. And we call it the Freedom Economy Index, the FEI. And the Freedom Economy Index is basically giving a voice to all those small businesses businesses that the media ignores, that politicians ignore, and that America, that actually represent America. And we bring their opinions to the marketplace once a month. And we ask about politics and the economy and their business, inflation, taxes, et cetera. And it has been fascinating. So I would encourage you, if you want to go to redballoon.org slash freedom economy, you can see the results of that survey. But we find things like 95% of our businesses do not believe that anyone in Washington, D.C. will ever balance the budget. Republican, huh. Democrat, Congress, Senate, anybody. No, but no, they don't believe that any of them will ever actually balance the budget. And so there's this massive disconnect between the businesses that are participating in this freedom economy and the businesses or and the people in Washington, D.C. So that's been fascinating. So we're doing a lot of things as much as we can to represent the the part of America that's actually the lifeblood of our country, the small businesses that are showing up every day, just seeking to be faithful and work hard. And it's been and, really yeah. fun to be part of that. We're definitely going to have to have a follow up with you uh, on my website, genevalentino.com. I have a a, 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 a port of entry where you can go to Gene's second bill of rights. These nice. are about 10, 11 more amendments I propose to the United States Congress uh, constitution uh, be, for the very reason you just said, Andrew, the fact that um, it's not likely Congress will pass them a balanced budget uh, term limits uh, a, a definition of who's an American citizen and how you become one uh one nationalized day of voting per year uh give it make it a legal paid holiday for all i care but yeah. no three months of voting in advance stuff yeah right uh, absentee ballots only for employees that are um overseas and working with our government overseas and simply can't get to a ballot box at home yeah. these are issues that really are the founding principles of liberty and freedom which you espouse and are taking on in your specific niche. We're talking with Andrew Crapache of redballoon.work. Folks, we're going to take a break right now. We'll be back right after this with more with Andrew and redballoon.work. I'm excited to announce that we're having our biggest Christmas sale ever. 
you get our brand new six piece my towels for only $29.98 or rejuvenate your bed with a my pillow mattress topper as low as $99.99 or how about my pillow bed sheets for as low as $24.98? There's something for everyone. Duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows, and so much more. Well, I know my pillow products make for the perfect Christmas gifts, so I'm gonna extend my money back guarantee until March 1st, 2024. So go to mypillow.com now or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get huge discounts on all my pillow products. For example, you get our six piece towels for only $29.98, or get your very own my pillow bed sheets for as low as $24.98. It's our biggest Christmas sale ever. Get all your shopping done now while quantities last. Welcome back to Grassroots Truthcast. We're here with Andrew Crapache from redballoon.work. Well, it's Red Balloon, the company in Moscow, Idaho, and the website is www.redballoon.work. And Andrew, we were talking just before the break about, about how, you know, you're I hate to say you're in the employment business because yeah. you're more than that. I get it. But uh, for the searcher or the people looking, they would find you under what employment agency services. Yeah. I mean, we, we, I'll, I'll be honest. We started as a traditional job board, a, tra a job board with a thesis around freedom. So if you think yeah. about the big job boards out there, indeed, or zip recruiter or monster.com, which you might be familiar with, we're going to have a lot of the same functionality, but we have all of our employers sign a pledge that they actually believe the constitution still matters and they're going to protect the freedom of their current and future employees. But we also have the employees sign a pledge. And that pledge is that they're going to show up to work. They're going to work hard and they're not going to be a whiner. And it's amazing. If you're an employer out there, think about your best employees and they're probably not whiners. And so if you want to find the type of people that are going to build your business, that's you're going to find them on redballoon.work. And we have tens of thousands of people every single week on the site looking for jobs at companies that will respect their freedom. There's a lot of demand for this right now. And so, so we have that traditional job board side of the business where you can post a job. It's free for job seekers. And there's a little bit of a cost for employers who want to post jobs. Uh, we also have a resume database that is growing by over a thousand a week of people who are saying, you know what, I'm going to put in all my information. I'm going to put in my resume and say, I want to participate in this freedom economy. I want to find a job where I can be free because it's good for my family. And so there's that side of the business. But then I mentioned before the break, we also do what we call Red Balloon Recruiter, where we will actually take on a position for you. And we'll help write that job posting. We'll do a comp review. We'll actually source and screen candidates for you. We'll do a first cultural interview. We'll give you weekly market feedback on what people are saying about your job. And instead of charging what a recruiter might charge, which is 20 or 40 or way more, $1,000, we charge a flat $4,500 for, for us to take over the hiring process for a specific position. And we're now doing this with many dozens of businesses. When I had a small Christian radio station just tell me, man, it was such an answer to prayer to have you guys take this over because we all know if you get someone who's a bad culture fit, especially inside of a small business, it will have a disproportionate impact yeah. on your ability to succeed and your joy at work. And so being able to just hand that off for only $4,500 and we're able to do it for so cheap because we're a job board. And so we're at the scale and we have the systems and the process necessary to be able to give you a, a white glove recruiter process for often a tenth of the price of a traditional outsourced corporate recruiter. This woke culture, which um, invaded many of the large companies in this nation that you have been in touch with, have you seen a, a retraction or them pulling back yeah. on that? Is it because of folks like you and the Americana that you present is there is there a rebound going on that we probably don't talk enough about yeah i think there is i think the pendulum is starting to swing back i'm sure that red balloon dot work is part of that public square you look at revere pay and old glory bank you see this whole series of businesses that will provide the the freedom alternative to the woke uh, culture that's out there right now that's a big part of it 
what we saw with Budweiser and Target and Disney, where conservatives are saying, why am I spending my money on people who hate me so much? That's going to be a big part of it. And a lot of people are realizing, and then when the Supreme Court says that a, the affirmative action that's happening in our universities is unconstitutional, well, unfortunately, the DEI policies at corporations look a lot like those affirmative action policies. And so I think corporations are going, look, I don't want to be on the wrong side of history. I don't want to be the last one espousing a worldview that's bad for my business, that's bad for America, and that is unconstitutional. And so we are seeing DEI officers are actually, there's a significant rise of them looking for jobs because corporations are realizing that if you have uncertain economic times, you don't want to be spending your time and money on something that has nothing to do with your business. And yeah, so I do think that there's a swing back to the right on all of this. Yeah, I would agree with you. And I, uh, Bob Iger from Disney, Elon Musk was on a, sh a show recently where he was talking to his host and saying, I won't use the term, but F you, <laughs> Bob Iger at Disney, if you think I'm going to be controlled by you I and your and your crazy ideologies and you're going to move me because you're going to pull some advertising money away from me is the essence of what's been driving some of the media up to now, which has in a very perverse way taken us down these pathways that are now backfiring nationwide. And I yeah. might add, I want to compliment you publicly and let you know how proud I am of you and your company. You're one of the many spokes in the wheel that yeah. are moving the mountain, as they say. And that's no easy task. America was hard to create, and it's going to be hard to destroy. And with people like you, I'm very proud of what you're doing. You know, it's really funny. Why is it that an employment agency or a job source entity like yours has to be in the position of seeking an agreement from an employee? Hey, you're going to be a good American and work hard. And right. then turn to the employer and say, hey, Mr. Employer, you're not going to nail this employee with a bunch of crap ideology that has nothing to do with the productivity of what you're selling, whether it's a product for the sale of a service or, or the sale of a product. You, you, you have no right to impose your ideology. What's wrong with our culture that we got to a point where somehow the workplace had to be controlled by yeah. ideology? The media is at the top of the list since they were the ones most easily influenced, by the way, not only by a woke culture, but subversively by government itself. Yeah. Government was yeah. using the media to control the elections in 2020 and put out a false narrative that they succeeded at doing. And 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 that, that then that then trickles down to all of the sponsors, the the corporations that and the employees of those media entities and all of a sudden, from the grassroots, <laughs> from a guy like you coming up the ranks, that's why I like the name of this this podcast. Yep. Uh, a guy like you coming up through the ranks are 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 doing a 180 with the culture and saying, "Hey, you Americans, have you forgotten what we're all about?" And I I commend you for that. And that's my speech. I wanted to get that in there before we wrap it up. Any we're, we're approaching the deadline on your timeline here. Any yeah. final thoughts on? on Red Balloon yeah. uh, and where you're going in the future. Yeah. So again, redballoon.work. You can also find us on all the social media channels at Red Balloon Work. And, and look, my encouragement to everyone is um, you kind of have two options. There's a lot of craziness going on in the world, whether it's Israel and Ukraine and D.C., there's lots of craziness going on in the world. And your options are sit on the couch, watch Fox News and wring your hands or get off the couch and go do something. And that would be my encouragement to you. The heroes in every story you've ever read that you've enjoyed went off and did things. And if you want your kids and your grandkids to remember you, go do stuff. And part of that could be as simple as going and finding another job. Part of it could be changing your spending habits. Don't spend your money at Target. Go to Public Square and buy your Christmas shop, do your Christmas shopping there. Um, it could be telling a friend about this podcast. It could be telling a friend about redballoon.work. There's so many things that you can do, but do something. Don't just sit around, wring your hands and worry. Go out and do something. And if every American does that, think of the profound impact 
that will have on our country. And so redballoon.work is building. We are growing rapidly. We're free for job seekers. So tell your friends and family that they need to fill out a job seeker profile. If you know anyone who's hiring, you should send them to redballoon.work. They're going to find the best employees here. And look, we're going to build America one step at a time at the grassroots level. And you're part of that. I'm part of it. Gene, you're part of it. And it's exciting to be on the team that's going to win. It's just going to take a little bit of work. That's what our Grassroots Truthcast is all about. I'm so proud, folks, to have Andrew Krapache with us today of Red Balloon uh, out of Moscow, Idaho, uh, a nationwide company that's reaching out to businesses large and small and to individuals uh, uh, to uh, make sure that your uh, views and your freedoms and your liberties are not uh, in encumbered uh, in the pro in the workplace by others or by the employer himself. And uh, this is the place to go to for that kind of guidance and direction. Andrew, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to put a link up for redballoon.work on our website, genevalentino.com under Gene Valentino's Grassroots Truthcast. Folks, if 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 you're watching the broadcast through Grassroots Truthcast on my website, please look for our partner link. Uh, Andrew, with your blessing, I'd like to have your link on my website. May I? We would love that. We would Thank absolutely you. love that. And I'd appreciate the same. And we'll make sure we spread the word on the good deeds and tidings you're doing for the nation at large. Boy, this is being recorded in November of 2023, and it could not come at a better time. Andrew? Not goodbye. How about see you later? Yeah, until next time. Nice to until see you and time. everybody have a great day. Thank you, Andrew. And to all of you, thank you for watching another episode of Gene Valentino's Grassroots to Truthcast. See you again soon. Thanks for joining us for Gene Valentino's Grassroots Truthcast. Be sure to like and subscribe and God bless America.